from the United States over to Norway to compete to find their Norwegian heritage. So uh, basically we do competitions every week and then if you lose you get eliminated and you have to go back to the United States and if you make it all the way till the end you get the chance to meet your Norwegian family. So my mom has known about it for a while now, probably like three years even. And then she always kept telling me to apply and telling me to apply. So I did, I actually applied. Um, I actually applied the year before this year and didn't make it. Even throughout the weeks you get to travel around Norway and do all these awesome things and just be adventurous and go see, I don't even know what we're going to see. And every day as we wake up and we get told what we're doing, we don't have a plan. You just have to kind of enjoy each day. I was raised in North Dakota um, and then I graduated from Minot. High, minor high school in 2010 and then I played sports all throughout high school and then um, I decided to attend University of North Dakota Fighting Sioux and then I ran track there for my first two years of school. My family we actually um, didn't really do, we didn't have that kind of stuff, we actually did um, LEFSA <laughs> and um, LEFSA was kind of like our big Norwegian tradition and then we also um, did, my grandma would sing the song before we ate, but I couldn't tell you what the song was. It was in Norwegian and it was a, a song that people did before they ate a meal. I actually don't know that much about, like bef like coming here, I, I knew names and dates, family members and the dates, but I didn't know where we were from and stuff. And um, I haven't got to that point yet where I get to at least go to my family farm and stuff. I haven't done that yet, so um, I'm I'm excited for that, and hopefully I'll make it that far where I get to do that. I actually graduated early. I got an early graduation, so my graduation was um, April 23rd, the Friday before I left. I didn't watch any. I didn't really watch any of the prior seasons. I kind of just left that be because I wanted it all to be a new experience. I've been treated so well here. We're staying in awesome hotels and we get to have, I get to spend my days with 12 other Americans and just crazy, a crazy cast. We all get along so well. So I think, yeah, I was a little bit nervous about meeting the other cast members, but they're awesome. The Norwegians are very, they're super nice people. But at the same time, they don't like to have a conversations with you. So like, they're really nice when you do have a conversation with them, but they, I don't think they'll start a conversation. You kind of have to go introduce yourself and then they'll talk to you. Breakfast here is a little weird though. It's awesome. like I'm eating a lunch for my breakfast. Like they have a lot of like turkey meats and ham and like salmon. And... My family members, you know, left. Norway to go to America without yeah. any form of communication and with their family that they left in Norway and then now I left America without any form of communication to come to Norway so it's kind of it's weird to like think of it in that sense and we're so spoiled nowadays with phones and everything so it's kind of been nice to get away from the technology and just enjoy the people around me and the experience that I get with being on all for Norway. All my friends back home, I miss you guys. <laughs> and I hope that you guys are having a great last week of school and celebrate graduation and cheers to you guys. And I miss you guys and my sister and my cousin and my mom. <laughs> yeah.